It is International Women's Day Month. Conveniently, when I'm playing every Barbie game ever made. Sadly, excluding 1984's Commodore 64 version of Barbie, sorry to disappoint you. I don't think it's uncouth to group together the first couple as your average platformer, surprisingly delivering a challenging and fun recount of what Windows DOS games really had to offer. While all three bring their own take on various themes such as boutique, shopping mall, and underwater sea monkey lair, find it very interesting that the assets you see in each of these grandfather themselves into later versions of said games. A trend in these old titles, they don't really lead you through tutorial, and expect that if you're using your family computer to play a Barbie platformer in 1992, you're probably a pretty well-versed gamer at this time. Surprisingly, Barbie Supermodel 1993 was very fun, between driving down the streets of LA, paths to the Alps. What is this? Oh, you sure get your slide out of the way? Oh my god, it's International Women's Month, what are we doing here? Somebody come out and scrape this ice. Infamous Barbie Boardwalk Roller Skating. It's the movie scene! It's the movie! It's just like Barbie for real! The game manages to divide your time and attention between remembering your stage rock performance, matching outfits and accessories to various magazine appearances, and then having a pretty good environment all around. Barbie Vacation Adventure is not unlike any Sega game from its time. The music, Florida. the gameplay create a pleasant atmosphere. That is until Florida you play mentioned. volleyball. I don't... Dude. Jesus Christ. Much like its counterparts, an underwater level never fails to deliver the most enchanting soundtrack you have ever had grace your ears. 10 out of 10. Barbie and her magical house is more so what you would expect from a Windows game targeted towards those who would be buying Barbies at this time. What's meant to be a simulation for what consumers are already getting from the toys, Barbie and her magical house in its simulation almost creates a liminal vibe that can really be weird at times. Welcome to my house. Why don't you come on in and take a look around? While not long, you also get to give Barbie your home address, social security number, and those three little numbers on the back of your mother's credit card. So later, she can send you a letter thanking you for funding her detox tea pyramid scheme. Now it seems silly, but really, if you liked my analysis, it would help if you liked and subbed, and then you can drive your Mattel branded Barbie car over the bell so you can see this live, and also later video edits surrounding the journey while I play every Barbie game ever made. So thanks. Love you.